But my early twenties at all. No, no. Just, just so I'm clear, what is self-esteem, right? Self-esteem, first, it's it's one of the cornerstones of good mental health, right? To have high self-esteem. Now, to have have high self-esteem doesn't mean you think that you're brilliant. What self-esteem is is it's simply your your personal opinion of yourself, and it's rarely like I think I'm brilliant or I think I'm shit. It's whether you think that you're just okay. That's high self-esteem is kind of like I'm grand. I'm grand. That's what high self-esteem is. Like nobody else is better than me. I'm no better than anybody else because to be comparing myself against other people that'd be silly anyway. I'm grand. So that's high self-esteem and it takes a lot of work. Self-esteem is not the same as confidence. You can have quite low self-esteem and perform confidence. Confidence tends to be more of a performance. It's it's an outward set of behaviours. People with high self-esteem tend to come across as confident, but it's more of a humble confidence. But you can have really low self-esteem and perform. I know loads of people like that. Very low self-esteem, but the ability to perform a confidence. But self-esteem really, it tends to be whether if, if your sense of self-worth comes from within and it isn't like defined by your behaviour or defined by what other people think of you right if you start judging your self-worth based on any aspect of your behaviour or based on what other people think of you then that's kind of a recipe for low self-esteem but anyway in, in, your, lo- in your early 20s my early 20s like you don't have this solid sense of, of self. You don't really know who you are or have a solid sense of self. So you're continually checking other humans for feedback. And that feedback is, is whether, what are they wearing? What are they doing? And you're either going, that's, they look like a fucking idiot. Or what they're doing is stupid. Or you're going, they're better than me. Their clothes are nicer than mine. They're more good looking than me. And you're in this continual internal loop of judging and feeding of other people and evaluating it against yourself, right? And you're also in other people's business. Even if you're not telling them these things in your mind, you're now stuck in other people's business. Someone else's clothes is none of your business. Or their appearance, or their job, you know, or what, you know, their talents. It's none, none of my business. And... If you live like that, you will have low self-esteem. It's that simple. If you live your life continually, consistently, either placing yourself above or below other people and find, trying to find your self-worth and your value and sense of self, like a game of tennis, like a game of tennis that nobody else knows they're playing. Like you're, you're playing this game of tennis with everyone around you and bouncing off them in your own head. That's a recipe for low self-esteem. And in order to get to a place of high self-esteem, and high self-esteem is your not your 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 sense of self-worth is not evaluated off other people in any way. There's no such thing as someone being better than you or being less than you because your value comes from inside. That's something it kinda it develops slowly, naturally as you get older. But you also have to work on it. And I've worked on that loads. So when I was 20, 21 and I'd go to a supermarket. Like if I saw someone, someone my own age, wearing like a bright yellow jacket. I would find myself all of a sudden having an opinion on their jacket. And I'd be saying to myself, look at them with their bright yellow jacket. They look like a fucking, look at them showing off. I bet they think they're great with their big yellow jacket. Fucking prick. And these are the thoughts that used to go through my head when I was 21. And it's quite a normal, quite a lot of young people think that way. You're evaluating other people. And now I'm in Dunn's at 21 or in Aldi and I'm angry about someone else's jacket, which is the most ridiculous, fucking ridiculous. Now, why am I angry about someone's yellow jacket at 21? 
now I look back and I go, ah, I was actually jealous of that person's confidence. So that person wore a big show off jacket. I saw it. And internally, inst- instead of saying the rational thing, which is there's a person wearing a fucking jacket and it's none of my business. In my head, I'm saying, look at that person with the confidence to wear that big yellow jacket. Who the fuck do they think they are? I bet they think they're better than me. They must think they're so much better than me that they can wear that jacket. And I'm inventing this fucking fantasy. And by the time I've left the supermarket, I've made it, I've internalized an enemy in my head. And all they did was wear a jacket. And then I've got cripplingly low self-esteem and I'm highly, highly insecure. And it's a big feedback loop. Like, we do it a lot. Like, this is why we, this is why generally, if you see uh, someone who's really trendy, like a hipster, you know, and they're wearing clothes that are out of the ordinary, we tend to go, look at that fucking prick. You don't know the person, you go, fucking prick, showing off. And it's like, why would that piss, why does that piss us off? Ah, their confidence, we we would like to have the confidence to do that, right? Because that's brave, but their confidence reminds us of our lack of confidence. Then we feel insecure, but feeling insecure is too painful to feel. So the best way to get, get away from a painful feeling is to express anger, to direct anger at the object of the thing that made you feel insecure. Before I used to exercise... If I saw a person out running, in full running gear, I'd go, look at that fucking prick, fucking runners. Fucking prick off running, look at him with his stupid clothes. And now I run all the time, and I wear proper running clothes and proper running shoes, because I need to, because I'm running. But like, why would that piss me off back then? Ah, because the person is doing loads of running and being healthy, and I'd like to do that. But I wasn't able to get off my arse to do it. But rather than admit that to myself, it's easier to experience anger at that person. Jealousy. And you know all it did? when When I then did start running, one of my fears wasn't the physical difficulty of running. But it was like, oh fuck, now I have to be the person who's out running and someone might laugh at me. Like I had a friend, right? I had a friend years ago. Again, we were about 21. And... He wanted to do a photography course. He wanted to do photography. So he organized an interview to apply for the photography course and then didn't turn up for the interview. And I remember asking him afterwards, why the fuck didn't you turn up for the interview? What the fuck was that? You wanted to do photography. And his genuine answer was, I just thinking about being one of those lads at gigs who stand up at the the front of the gig and they have cameras or sometimes they go up on stage, they just look like...